my step. Can't beat it. I was raised in the city. I'm more used to feeling cobblestones underfoot than grass and fallen leaves. Before I went to Avernus, I'd have agreed with you. Nothing quite like Baldur's Gate, is there? Nothing in my recollection, anyway.
fresh forest air. I feel only fear. The fear of cowards lying in wait for an ambush. Take days off. I'd even forego sleep if such a thing was possible. The one advantage an elf holds over a gift Yankee. That might be worth a look. Whatever it takes. Well met. I'm up for the challenge. You've just got to make a little space. Let's make this happen. Sharp as ever.
This better be good. The corpse has nothing to say. What's next, I wonder? No time to rest. Well, hello. What can I do for you? I would, but you have so many friends already. Well, in that case... Give me so much as a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. Mm. I do so very like spicy food. How much farther can I go?
Let's have a rummage. This is off limits. Get to the main gate, or I'll plug you full of arrows. is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile, and a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws near. Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. The voice is gone. Muted by this... this gith relic. Why does a half-elf carry it? I think that was the Absolute speaking to us. But we managed to shield ourselves. We should keep moving. I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. I suppose if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. 
I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. I can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. No need to thank me. This is out of pure necessity. Pure desperation, in fact. There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. I know those symbols. Githyanki runes. Ancient as Vlakith herself. You stole that from my people. Yes. And a lot of my people died in the process. I won't fail them. Not after what I saw your kind do to them. A powerful artifact indeed, to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the Absolute itself, the three figures in the vision, the Chosen are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination, at any cost. No doubt the Githyanki will seek to reclaim that which is theirs, and you still do not know what it even is. For now. But any crimes against my kin will be answered for in time. I just saved you. Keep that in mind next time you want to air your grievances. What's on your mind? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. But she favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. <sighs> no kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. <laughs> it had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. 
I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. Organizing. God's what I wouldn't give for a hug. A pat. Anything. You've never met anyone so desperate for a hug as this one right here. Pathetic, perhaps, but true. It's my lot to bear, and I bear it badly. Ah, oh, well. Can't have it all, can you? Not today, at least. Yes? Well met. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. There could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. I'm so sorry to give you another reason to sleep restlessly, but it's my burden to bear. She won't touch you unless there's something there for her to take. Don't give her so much as an inkling there might be. Go ahead. I'm listening. upon you. 